everyone. Welcome to Treasure, a channel that is meant to inspire, encourage, and empower women around the world. My name is Glory Ahere Okokere, and I have a very special guest uh, with us today. And um, he is Pastor Ambulus Gagel. He is also the, the founder of God Good News Ministry in the San Fernando Valley, as well you know, as the founder and leader of RevCon. Welcome uh, to the show. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you have me here. Uh, Thank you. So my father is the founder of FGGM, uh, Finger of God. I'm the second branch, but I am the founder of Refcon Movement. You're the founder of Refcon Movement. Okay, thank you. Yes, uh, for for that uh, correction. No, we don't want to take anything away from your father now. (laughs) (laughs) Especially because he's going to watch this. I don't want us to have to redo this. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. And today we, we're going to talk about um, the black identity and the Christian religion. Mm. You are, I mean, a pastor of, you know, a, a church and also, you know, a leader of a, a very large, you know, uh, Christian group, especially for, you know, young people as well. You've been very influential in the lives of young people. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, I know that, you know, because I know my daughter is also a member of RevCon. Yes. You know, so my um, question to you, you know, now is um, explain, you know, to our viewers, you know, what you think is, I mean, the biggest impact on black people and religion. Mm, mm. Thank you for that question. First of all, thank you again for having me here. Uh, it's th- this topic, I couldn't uh, stress how important it is. Uh, it is very crucial because I think that the black church today, or rather black individuals are going through uh, quite an interesting time in history, especially with the, uh, the whole movements we've seen in the United States of black people being killed on the streets. And, and so there's this been this re- a resurgence of questions questioning uh, what is the place of the black church? What does Christianity mean to black people, especially for a good uh, group of young individuals that I have been uh, privy to mentor and talk to? I have seen a lot of young people leave the church, if not also the church, but a lot of white churches because they felt as though it's, it's as if Christianity lost its place in time or it's not sufficient to dealing with these problems or this thing. And I know you would have heard a lot of this, uh, a lot of people starting to say that Christianity is a white man's religion, right? And so this whole arguments are coming. And so this is where it culminates for me. So I will, I will have to lay a little bit of a, 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 a preface to answering this question. If I'm rambling on too long, just cut in. I don't mind. We're good. <laughs> okay, now, go ahead. <laughs> now, one of the things, and I'm going to be talking from a Christian context, especially uh, my doctorate that I'm actually working on comes, uh, deals with this a lot. Uh, the psychology of religion, uh, liberation theology, comparative theology, and philosophies. And this is what I work on quite a bit. So I lose sleep over topics like this. Mm-hmm. One of the things that we're going to have to understand is <clears throat> each human being comes to religion with a context. And what does that mean? Every person that receives Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior has a subjective context. And and what that means is every person comes to the place of receiving Jesus with a past experience. Based on your past experiences, it determines how you define what Jesus means to you and what it is uh, you expect from Jesus. There are some Christians uh, that say, you know what? I received Jesus because I know I am a sinner and I know I'm saved by grace. And you know what? That's it for me. But a good majority of Christians, as a book um, uh, by, written by Anthony B. Penn, he talks about this a lot. And, and uh, he talks about the fact that for a lot of black individuals, uh, 
The context for which we came to Christianity with is predicated on what has happened to us in the in the past. In the past, okay. Like you said. And, and, and so one of the things that is quite interesting, what happened in the past is this. He believes that people came to religion, whether it is Christianity or the nation of Islam, for the simple need of regaining their subjective identities. And this is what that means. Black people were brought, uh, were first of all, white people came to Africa and cap- captured black people. Exactly. They put them in dungeons. They came, they brought them across the Atlantic Oceans. A lot of them died in the ship. So a lot of people that made it here as slaves got to see their families and friends die in the ships. When they got here, they were placed on fr- in front of, uh, as they were sold as animals, as merchandise. When they were sold, they were sold to individuals that either beat them or treated them wrong. And so, and then at the end of the day, they were just left to die. So from the beginning to the end, you find out that the black people that came through the process of slavery, their context was, we were treated as animals, we were treated as not human beings, we were ob- objectified, we were oppressed. 400 years later or years down the line, the descendants of those slaves still feel as though society still has a context where they are objectified and are considered less than humans and are no, as of recent were just allowed to vote and they don't feel as though that they are human being enough. Anthony B. Penn argues that the way we found an identity was through the, the, the idea of conversion. Okay. We convert from what we are to what we want to be. And so we converted from being considered less to Christians. And as Christians, we received back our worth. So Christianity was not just about following Jesus. It was about regaining worth and an identity, a black identity that was as equal to the white man. Right now, just notice that I just gave why black people see religion as important to gaining identity. But one thing that's happening is, and and this is what went wrong along the way, especially where we've identified Christianity with the white race or, or black people that go to white churches have left. And this is why we forget that as black people, we have a context when we came to Jesus. We forget that white people have a context too. Uh, and, ex- explain, explain that. I, I will. I will. <laughs> White people have a context too, and what is their context? Now, 